there, I'm Cecilia Okada. This is the second watercolor tutorial with this letter C, which is an illustration I have drawn and then printed out on watercolor paper. As you can see, we are getting two very different um, impressions of this illustration just by having completely different color schemes. I'm going to show you how I selected the green and yellow color scheme how I mix the colors and the process of painting it, including the watercolor gold paint. I have selected my color scheme from this beautiful photograph of a damselfly and the yellow color is pretty straightforward out of the palette. So I'm now uh, moving on to the second color and not quite getting there. So I'm adding yellow and it becomes the fourth color color the lighter green and for my next one I'm going to make the moss green the third color on the color bar there mixing blues and greens and brown to get there and finally I'm going to try again for the second and I need the cyan color and with the cyan color and pure yellow I am actually I will able to make that color and the last one is the dark darkest blue green on the bar right there picking up the indigo and mixing it with green Before I start painting, I need to add a good amount of water within the outline of the main letter, avoiding the decorated part. And this will uh, allow the pigments of the paint to be distributed in a very interesting way. The so water is going to swirl the color, so to speak. And when the color dries, we will see some very beautiful and interesting effects. I'm also going to be adding white watercolor to this green to lighten up the color. Now the traditional way of doing this is to use a sponge to soak up in some of the green to make it lighter but I I really love using the white and creating more pastel type shades. If you just soak up the color, you won't have that soft pastel effect. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and you can also get a free PDF with the color scheme with both the photograph and the color swatches on my blog. Now let's get on with the composition of this painting. We're going to take each color that I've already prepared and apply them in sort of sort of systematic way, starting with the yellow, trying to distribute the colors in a way that creates a balanced composition, a composition that's going to work. And then of course in between there is some mixture here and there and I have to go a little bit back and forth. But basically we try to distribute the colors in such a way that the painting will become harmonious.
thanks for watching this tutorial and see you next time